Huh? <laughs> it was about to go in. My engine oil's low. How do you? Yo, what is up, Slow Thirty Five Fam? Today in this channel, we got another video. We are gonna be installing a red start stop button. It is black at the moment. I will be putting this red start stop button. I got it for at least ten bucks from I think FCP Euro or Amazon. I'm not sure which one. You're gonna need this auto trim and molding tool set from Harbor Fight, which is where I got it. It was $8.99, so it wasn't that expensive. And that's about all you're gonna need for this install. Maybe a pick tool. I think you will need a pick tool. Alright guys, so this is the original start stop button. As you can see it's black. And we are gonna change it to red because I don't like how it looks in black. I believe we're gonna only need this last one and the third one from the set. So I think we're only going to need these two. We're going to need to pry it out from the actual location where it's at. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Pry it out. So we're going to go ahead and use the flattest one we could find. And we're gonna go ahead and pry it into here. I believe, just go in here. You just kinda go around it. Just wanna pry it out. You grab another one, go in. You just go all around it until it pops off. And you can grab it with your hand. You just keep pulling and boom. You want to be careful, guys, that there is a wire in here, right here. You can't really see it, but there's a wire, and you want to unplug it before you take it off. Oh, there's little clips here and on the back. Kind of just want to push down and out. There we go. It's coming out. So you see this clip here? Can't really see it that much. But you can see how this goes up and down here. You just push it down. Then it comes right off. So now we have the start stop button here. And oops. Oh. The wire in here wants to escape from us. You might need to put it somewhere. I'm not sure exactly. We'll just hold it in with this trim tool for now. And what we have here, we have the start stop button. And you see there's one, two, three, four, five, six clips holding it in. So you're gonna wanna go one by one it might be easier without gloves. No. Okay, we got one more. There we go, guys. Okay. So, it is a lot harder than you think. You might need two people. But you just want to take these six clips off from here. And they attach to all around here. Now you have access to the button here. And what we're gonna have to do next is push into these clips, if you can see all the way back here. There's like a couple of clips. Alrighty guys, so we were able to get it out. So what you guys are gonna need to do is grab one pick tool. You're gonna need three if you're doing this with two people. There's a little, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like this thing here, you can push it. Like there's a clip. It's, there's a clip in there. You can push towards this way and one from here that goes this way. You're gonna get one to hold it and then you push this one in and to this, push it this, this way. Arm. And then I get this one to push it. And then this one in the center going down. Push it. And down then it push and it comes out. And you have this here. Cause these two clips here are what latch on like this. Like it's pushing 
to the outside and you're gonna need to push them this way with these pick tools in there you push them like this on both sides and then you poke it with the middle one and it comes right off and that's how you get this one off and then we're gonna put this bad boy on because this is I don't like it we're just gonna get this one on instead so not that hard to put it back on just make sure you put it on the right way guys you don't want to put it in upside down and you have to take it off again so we're just gonna go like they, this why they put a adhesive in there no idea but we're just gonna push it back in straight you want to put it in straight guys clips right on and that's about it there you go now you have a red start stop button that works works absolutely fine so yeah and then show them how to put that together and then you have this piece oh, okay. here oh electronics uh oh you don't want to let that fall out guys you're just going to go straight in like this you can see all the clips line up here evenly, evenly. apply good pressure evenly oh don't want to go in there you go he's stronger or you delicate stronger yeah delicate stronger i'm not i like to push things too hard but he he's got, got muscles like really he's working i got out, muscles so but he's working out and he's got a lot of strength now, i got a lot of strength but I, i'm gonna do delicate and very careful so there you go now we have a working start stop button guys now you're as you can see you can push it and it comes right back out so we're good to push this back in connect it to the connector that it was on and you're good to go alrighty guys we're in the car again we got the assembled start stop button we have the wire here that we left with the trim tool make sure you guys line this back up I think there's only one way you could put this back in pretty easily make sure in the back it's clipped on and you can test it out to see if it works if all the electronics turn on and as you can see mine turned on so I could turn it off again like that so I just want to make sure it's on correctly all we're gonna do push this bad boy back in evenly and there you go now you have the assembled start stop button guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope it was helpful and effective for you guys I hope it was easy to understand and uh, you see how it lights up now which means it works fine let's go ahead and turn on the car real quick so as you can see it works absolutely fine and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe guys and I'll see you guys in the next video like